both is a factory suspension, so they are doing suspension and then for the development it's very easy to do it. When you have test to do or a new part to have, it takes a few minutes, we can say. Of course, Evgeny was in the team before, so the goal uh, with Olivier is to keep him because he's very important. In France, this is my first race. I tried, first of all, Argentina Saturday, but it didn't work. I heard my race more on Saturday qualifier race, so I stopped. And after that, I've been just recovering for two months. I've just been doing fitness training. The problem is i just been on a bike four times since Argentina, so I kind of a little bit stressful, and then same time I'm happy to be back on the bike, but at the moment I'm, I'm 80 80 percent, you know, and then I want to just build it up, because at the moment I'm a step behind, because they're already on another level, so I need to catch up. So this year has been a lot different, obviously I got married in the winter, and now um, we found out the other week we we're expecting a little baby boy, so it's, nothing's really changed, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening, but nothing's changed. Um, my mentality is uh, exactly the same as it was. I'm working hard away from the races to be prepared for when I'm here. Yeah, when I was 18, I moved to America for a couple of years and raced there. I do really enjoy being out there in the lifestyle, but I have um, responsibilities and, and bills to pay in England, so if I went there, it's a lot more difficult now. I choose Tommy because it's a long history. He rode for me during four years and we get a very good result. We are two-time runner-up in the World Championship in MX2 and go in battle with Jeffrey Erling, so it was an in, in, incredible season. So I like the spirit of Tommy. Obviously, since I've been in MX1, I haven't had the same success as I had in the MX2 class. For a couple of years, it was injury after injury, and um, I never got back to that level. But now I feel, feel confident that I can get back to the level I once was, and um, that's the goal, to get back up on the podium and, and get those results that I once had on the 250. Yeah, I need to get the job done on a 450 now. Yeah, in a couple of weeks we go to Russia, my uh, home country, and then my, my language, you know, it's like uh, I feel like a fish in the water, you know. And then to see all the guys, all the fans, all the public coming over there, I'm always excited. Every year when there's a GP there, I'm, I'm super excited. Yeah, after racing, I don't know, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll stay in the, in the paddock. I can't see myself just being around the races once I finish. I would like to branch off, do something new. Oh, uh, that's I don't know. I, I don't know what 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 I will do. I mean, with the sport. I mean, not just the motocross. Maybe it could be something else, you know. Because you know, I've been racing uh, road bike 2004. So it might be something there. You never know, you know.